Hey guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. In this one I will introduce to you my new watercolors. This is a full collection that will be in shop soon so you will definitely be notified. And also I will be using this cozy collection from last year. It is going to be quite simple painting and I will start with preventing the entire paper from one edge to another. This time I did not pull, put a tape on the sides because I don't want any edges and I won't be painting to the edge. To the wet paper I've added some splatters with leaf orange and also with sweet yellow and then just adding a couple of lines for the stems with coffee brown and again some splatters and this is all just painted on a wet surface so the paint is bleeding and creating some blurred distant flowers. Afterwards I picked up this very very small brush, detail brush from Pan Art and mixed in a little bit more of sweet yellow and leaf orange and then started to paint the first flower and you can see I'm just tapping in with the tip of my brush painting some very very small dots on top adding a little bit of the coffee brown just to create some diversity, some uh, shadows and highlights light on my uh, flower and then just adding a couple of stems again with the same coffee brown for those flowers. And all the colors I will be using are going to be fall colors. So they're going to be orangey, red, yellows, browns. And those are the colors of fall. A little bit more of the paint for the stem just to make it slightly darker and second one I have painted the same way just adding some dots with sweet yellow and leaf orange and then adding some dots with coffee brown just to create some shadows. Same colors this time I've used a little bit more of the sweet yellow to paint in second flowers or leaves that could be just whatever you like it's somewhat an abstract painting so it can be whatever you like. A little bit more of the coffee brown to add some I guess texture to my leaves and at the edges at the root of the flowers I'm just adding darker pigment, darker coffee brown and I will also be adding later on some black. This is a fav favorite black from Cozy Collection and then painting in very very thin stems. So for the composition you can definitely choose any composition you like. You don't have to make the same one as I did. You don't have to paint three uh, flowers with those very very tiny, uh, tiny I guess flowers. But you can paint more of them. Maybe just one. Just, just definitely up to you. And this is just an idea and a super fun, simple painting. You can also use this idea for cards, you know, why not? I know you love cards, so I do love them too. Again, same colors for the textures. And you can also make this into a spring painting just using different colors. That's just also fine. If you like pinks more, why not? Or violets. And then I decided to do one just above all of those flowers. And you can see that my flowers are quite random, but I am minding the overall composition, but not really placing them just in one spot, those tiny flowers and then those larger. I'm just painting them all around. A little bit more of the splatters. Again, with the same color I used previously. Some sweet yellow mixed in with leaf orange. And again, those black details on these larger flowers or leaves. And I just decided also to add a couple of random stems. Picking through 
just for the garnish in this flower arrangement. And to make overall composition a little bit nicer. So just adding a little bit more of the pigment to it to make it slightly darker and a little bit more of the splatters with sweet yellow here and there and also with brown and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video I hope this was quite fun for you so as I said new supplies new products are coming into my shop soon so stay tuned for the info about that and guys thank you so much for watching for joining me in this fall series and I guess if you haven't subscribed to my channel, well, you should definitely do that. There are over 400 tutorials there, all sorts of tutorials. So again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.